He was winning. He did. Oh. on Abel. You won, dude. Tyler? Good job. He did earlier, so I beat Tyler earlier. <laughs> he did after. So I, cleared, so I cleared the table off and they had nothing left and I just started kind of goofing around letting him call my holes I need to go to. You gotta slow down and focus. It's hard. Way too light. <laughs> Watch out. Remember, get low, keep your hand down, and keep your thumb up. Okay. Just like just like Get low. You gotta bring that thumb up a little bit. You're letting it like fall off her thumb. I just dominated you in pool. Whatever, look out your way. <laughs> it was boring. <laughs> I'm just because I kicked your butt so bad? Whatever. I lost the first game because I actually touched the Did ball. Did you admit to that? Scratch. But the second game, I whooped her. Fair and square. Check out how big this furniture store is, guys. This is the middle. Not just that. I am. It goes from that end all the way to that end and has a five story parking garage. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's the biggest furniture store I think I've ever seen. What do you want to look at? Couches. Couches so you can go to sleep. <laughs> All right, Let's check out this map. You're going to walk over there? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I was just going uh, to check it out. Pool table. On the pool table. Good night, dude. We'll pick you up on the way out, okay? No. Don't talk to any strangers. Don't take any food from strangers. We'll be back. Okay, bye. <laughs> we found the boys some new beds. <laughs> hang out the end. <laughs> Scoot all the way up, dude. You're not all the way up. Scoot your head up. Gotta yeah, make it. <laughs> your head's hanging off and your feet are hanging off. Hey, you fit though, dude. Perfect. This works. All right. It's only $89. We got you a new bed, more room in your room. All right. <laughs> yeah. Are you having fun yet? Mm -hmm. You love shopping. My phone's dead now, so I can't do anything. I was planning on I was planning on sitting on Twitter this whole time we were in here, or on Instagram. Oh man! Now I can't do it. Jacob, hey, Jenna, what up? look at that sign. Do you need that? You are my sunshine. I used to sing that to you when you were a baby. Sunshine. Hey, let's check out these clothes, dude. What happened at dinner? <laughs> I I threw up. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> So you're more comfortable when you Why are we in the baby section again? I don't know. We can't be. There's no reason for us to be in and here. And look, it's perfect. It's got three seats. The boys found what they want for the game room. And look, there's lights underneath. That's cool. But mom, there's a way Wait. better one. The answer is no. There's a way better one. Here. What's this? The answer is no. What's this? I don't know. You put a straw in it? You ring the bell for service, oh, except for a, I don't mm, come serve you. <laughs> no. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead to go to Granny's house now. What do y'all want to tell her? Hope you get better. Yeah? Hope you get better. I love you. All right. We'll see you soon, right? Uh -huh. All right. We made it to Hawaiian Falls. Sand, are you excited? Here it is. We used to have season passes for this place about uh, four years ago, four or five years ago. I'm excited, and it's like dead I right now. Place because the slides aren't too tall. Yeah, it's fine. Right of the day, woo! And it's dark. Sunday morning and I have just left Amy's aunt and uncle's house they're they're still there they're gonna go to the water park they had it planned for yesterday on Saturday but things fell through and other things came up and they didn't go yesterday but they're going today and I'm doing what I planned on doing I'm driving up on today Sunday to my mom's house to go visit with her for a couple hours and then uh, drive back to Dallas before we head home um, 
Hopefully your weekend's going well. Ours, there's been a lot of time in the vehicle, <laughs> as you can imagine. Driving from Houston to Dallas, to Dallas to Arkansas, to Arkansas to Dallas, to Dallas to Houston. It's it's quite busy, but it's it's well worth it. We're getting to see family. Uh, we're getting to see both sides family. I'm getting to visit with my mom, check in on her, and uh, just tell her how much I love her. Um, my mom and my relationship hasn't been the same since she broke her back. It's been a lot of work on both sides uh, to try to come to a compromise on um, how our relationship really is, you know? Uh, we both love each other so much. Uh, it's just, we're, we don't have the same connection as we did when I was younger. I'm, when, I'm weary, when I was younger, um, I was a, I was a straight up mama's boy. You, you, if you if you picture a mama's boy in the dictionary, that was me. Um, uh, it was always a struggle between me doing everything my mom wants me to do and doing what's right for my family. Uh, when she broke her back, things changed. Not in a bad way. It's just things changed. People do different things. They they grow apart a little bit. You know, doesn't mean I don't love my mom. It doesn't mean she doesn't love me. I know we love each other, uh, but our relationship's different. Like, I used to talk to my mom on the phone every single day, at least once a day, at least once a day. Um, but now I talk to her rarely you know, on the phone because she's, she's always uh, um, in pain. I, and I, I don't want to take away from her trying to relax and trying to not be in pain by sitting on the phone. And I just, I, I understand where she's coming from and I hope that she understands where I'm coming from with my family and with, with our relationship, with the distance between us. Um, but I'm driving up right now, but I'm driving up right now to go visit with her for a few hours and just be there for her and uh, talk with her, have a good time, and then drive back to Dallas. So let's get on this little road trip and uh, this little mini road trip within the road trip. <laughs> Dana and Tyler are coming. There they go. The best part of any water park is the Lazy River. We got Scott, Xander, Alicia, and Jacob racing. Uh, Jordan. Oh, Jordan. Just kidding. If she doesn't like you. <laughs> Scott, Xander, Jordan, and Jacob. <laughs> Was that fun? Tyler and Logan are going to go on this half pipe. There's no way that I wanted to go on there. Hey, how come you didn't go? <laughs> I'm a chicken, I'll admit it. <laughs> it's not too bad. You gonna do it? Turn this music down here. All right. Okay. So, uh, what's going on? I'm uh, about halfway to my mom's place right now, and I just thought of something I wanted to talk to you guys and gals about. Um, last week on Wednesday, we had the live stream and it was pretty amazing. We might do another one soon, but just to let, let you guys know, I had an old YouTube channel that I used to use a lot. Uh, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I was trying to make it another channel for, for myself and it just, it was too much work to keep up with multiple channels at the time. And now that I've changed up how I'm doing my daily vlogs, I have a little bit more time on my hands. And as you know, we've already started uh, trying to bring Gaming with Dad to life, which is one of my other channels, uh, youtube.com slash gaming with dad. The other channel, one of the other channels that I had that I'm bringing back is, well, let's say it used to be called Mr. Eric Zilla. Uh, it was just kind of like a skit channel thing and I, I was just gonna put up funny stuff on there. It wasn't daily vlog style. It was just, uh, just random videos kind of thing. Well. That channel kind of died. I didn't really do anything with it. I just left it there. It sat stagnant for a long time. Had a zombie photograph of myself as the main, as like the avatar. Well, the other day I went back after the live stream and I was like, man, this was so much fun. So I rebranded that channel. That channel is now youtube.com slash Eric TV live. 
Eric TV Live, okay? You can get to it by doing that or Mr. Eric Zilla, either way it works, but it's now branded as Eric TV Live. So anytime we wanna do a live stream, um, we'll just go over there and start up a live stream. So as long as you're subscribed to that channel and you have notifications on, you'll see when we go live. Now, that's not to say I'm not going to do any live streams on this channel. On the on the random Wednesday video, we still might do one once a month on this channel. But if I just want to just jump on, do a live stream, chit chat with you guys, have a good time, uh, I'm a little bit bored or something, and I just want some people to talk to, then you're going to want to be subscribed to Eric TV Live. Make sure notifications are turned on. I keep telling you, notifications are turned on because I'm not going to give too much heads up when I go on that channel. So as long as you have it set up with notifications turned on, then you'll be all good. You'll see me when I go live. I just thought that was kind of kind of interesting. You guys might be interested. <laughs> You're cheating, dude. You gotta stand up. <laughs> Go all the way across, Andrew. Good job, Jordan. Good job. <laughs> Dang it, I missed it. Now what? <laughs> there and uh, I just had this quick little thing happen that I wanted to tell you about um, when you go for a long drive do you ever get in those like I don't know like the little sections where you're following somebody and y'all kind of leapfrog each other for like two hours well I was driving that way with somebody that was in front of me for the past I don't know three hours and as I was I put my blinker on to get over to exit into Hope Arkansas where my parents live and there's two exits well I used to take the second one well the first exit the person in front of me exited off right there <laughs> and as they were exiting I was still driving faster because I was still on the freeway and I kind of glanced over and it was it was two young college students and they were both waving at me as I as I drove by like saying hey see you later thanks for thanks for being part of the 
of the, uh, what is it called? I can't think of the right word. Um, the, I don't know, just group of cars together. <laughs> it was kind of funny though. It was, it, I don't know. It's, I don't know, I'm just kind of weird, but I think that's kind of cool when people do that. When when you give each other respect, when you're following each other, you don't know each other, but you respect each other. And that's kind of cool. All right, I'm heading out from my mom's place now. We had a good visit, talked to her a lot, told her how much I loved her. It was actually a really good visit. We, we talked a whole lot. Got to talk to my sister a little bit, catch up with her, um, do my big brotherly type of uh, conversations with her and make sure that she understood that I loved her and anything that I ever tell her as far as things I think she should be looking out for in life or only because I love her and I have her best interest in my mind. <laughs> we, I, I was doing the big brother of, you don't do this, don't talk to that guy, he's just a boy, he's not a man, you don't need to mess with that guy and all that other fun stuff. The, the big brother conversations. But now I'm heading back to Dallas and uh, pick up my familia and go back home to Houston. So update on my mom, by the way. Um, she's back home. She's pretty drugged up. She has to take baby aspirin, and I can't remember. There's a prescription drug she has to take as well to help keep her blood uh, flowing properly, keep it thinned out. Um, she'll have to be on that for the rest of her life. She has two stents in. She's happy to be home. She is very much bedridden as usual. I mean, it's more so now than before. I th I th although she's been bedridden for a while, uh, this just kind of hampers her a little bit more. Uh, the doctors told her she has to stop smoking. She said that when she got home that first day, she had two cigarettes. <laughs> Duh, because uh, that's what people that smoke, they're addicted to cigarettes, right? So she smoked two cigarettes, but she said ever since then she hasn't had any more cigarettes. She's uh, gone cold turkey with it. Um, she's doing good. I'm very happy to hear that. I'm gonna keep following up with her through my dad and her. Um, I set up some stuff on her phone that she was having trouble getting set up. I feel like I'm the IT guy when I go visit her. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's doing better. Much better than she was. Thank you for all the support you guys show um, and have shown in the past through email, through tweets, through messages here on the videos. It means a lot to us. Um, she's definitely on the on the road to recovery. <laughs> Nala really likes to kiss on you. Saying bye to the puppies. Nope. Nala. Here, I'll hold Nala. 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 Nala, come here. Which one is that one, Xander? Did you learn? Bell. Yes, good job. Bell. That is Belle. 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 I think she likes you, dude. Yes. Now she'll chew on you. Yeah. No, she chews on me. She chews on me. <laughs> Oh yeah, because it'll be bad. Probably should take everything else too. Hot dog buns and 